Hey, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Ancient Town of Chico. Chico is a forgotten ancient town located on the banks of the Yellow River in China, in the Shanxi province. Human habitation here started way back in the Neolithic period, but the town which currently stands was founded much more recently, less than 1,000 years ago. And even though China is notorious for its fantastic ancient settlements, nobody really knows about Chico, and that makes it something of a mystery. By far, the most curious aspect of the town is the fluctuations of the river itself. There are unique rip currents here which cause the water level to rise and fall rapidly. The river can be 400 meters deep at one point and then 80 meters deep just a while later. But it's because of the bizarre changes of the river, as well as the brutal geography of its position, that the town never truly prospered. Chico couldn't grow its own crops because the people didn't have any space for agricultural activities. Instead, they had to rely on trade. The trade was fueled by the unpredictable Yellow River. When the tide went out, boats couldn't get their goods up the river and had to make the journey by land using horses. And this brought the people of the village plenty of business. But by the start of the Industrial Age, business had dried up. Chico couldn't compete with modern transportation and they were forgotten. The city was slowly abandoned. Almost nobody lives in the town any longer, though the ancient buildings still stand. Number 9. The Super Civilizations of Antarctica Antarctica is without a doubt the most mysterious continent on Earth, and it's all for one reason. Antarctica is covered in ice. Since we can't see what's underneath, there is a whole world of possibility just waiting for us. In fact, some people believe there is proof of a prehistoric civilization hiding on the continent, encased in freezing ice and yet undiscovered. This theory has a lot to do with a map called the Piri Race Map, which was allegedly an Ottoman admiral in the 16th century. It was an interesting map because it showed a southern continent in the place of Antarctica without a single piece of ice on it. Somehow, an admiral from the Ottoman Empire knew of a continent underneath North America before any European ever laid eyes on it. And for him, it wasn't a place of ice. He drew the continent as a totally ordinary piece of land. This is all quite confusing because the last time Antarctica was totally ice-free was 35 million years ago. At least that's according to pretty much every mainstream scientist and every piece of data we have. So it seems impossible that a prehistoric civilization could have lived in such a remote and unforgiving place. In the end, none of the pieces quite fit. The mystery remains, and nobody knows who or what may have resided in Antarctica. Number 8. Mount Hecla and the Gateway to Hell In October of the year 1104, Mount Hecla in Iceland exploded. Without any warning, the volcano blew its top and shot out huge plumes of smoke and gigantic balls of lava. To the settlers living in Iceland, this would have looked like the end of the world. They had no idea what was happening. Nobody had any idea what a volcano really was. And suddenly the sky was on fire and filled with smoke. This eruption in the 12th century gave birth to a legend of terror and mystery. From that day forward, Mount Hecla became known as the Gateway to Hell. The ancient Icelanders, who had only recently settled the island after plundering Europe for several hundred years, thought that hell had literally emerged into the realm of the living. It looked like the earth had opened its mouth and spat out fire. Even after the initial eruption, the Icelanders feared the volcano with all of their souls. When they saw birds flying around its crater, they assumed they were spirits on their way to eternal damnation. In fact, Mount Hecla became such a mysterious and foreboding place to Icelanders that even as the centuries went on, it kept its role as a place of horror. All the way until quite recently, it was believed witches gathered at the base of the volcano to worship the devil. Number 7. Scotland's UFO Hotspot The small town of Bonnie Bridge in Scotland is one of the most mysterious places in the world, but not because of ghosts or natural phenomena. Bonnie Bridge is mysterious because there are nearly 300 sightings of unidentified flying objects annually. 
Every single year for about the last three decades, there have been hundreds of UFO sightings in one of the sleepiest, most unassuming towns in rural Scotland. So what is it about this place that makes it such a UFO hotspot? That's a question we don't actually have an answer to. The town is nestled between Glasgow and Edinburgh, a peaceful place that saw a boom in prosperity and population in the 1780s with the rise of the growing Scottish industry. Paper mills, brickworks, iron foundries, all the businesses that came with the Industrial Revolution. At around that same time, Bonnie Bridge found itself the center of extraterrestrial interest. The most famous sighting happened years later in 1992. Local businessman James Walker stopped his car on a country road because there was an object hovering just above the pavement ahead of him. It was shaped like a star just hovering there with its bright lights. James watched it for a moment, and then the object took off at unimaginable speed. It took off into the night sky and was gone like a reverse comet back into the cosmos. Ever since then, people have felt a lot more comfortable coming forward with their sightings. And even though there are very few people that live there today, Bonnie Bridge still experiences one of the highest concentrations of UFO sightings of anywhere in the world. Number six. Lost City in the Mountain Archaeologists recently discovered a lost city at the top of a Greek mountain that nobody has ever explored before. This place is 2,500 years old and is currently nameless. It was a major find and is now one of the most mysterious places in all of Greece. The discovery was made by a team of Swedish and Greek archaeologists. They traveled 190 miles north of the ancient city of Athens to the Thessalian plains. Here, Strangelovuni Hill stretches high into the clouds. At its very top is a partially buried city spanning a total area of about 99 acres. Researchers have come across towers, broken walls, and even the city gates that once welcomed visitors to the summit of the mountain. The thing is that nobody knew about it because nobody had bothered looking, especially since from the town at the base of the mountain, there is no obvious clue of a lost city way over their heads. Right now, archaeologists don't know the actual name of this ancient place. Based on loose pottery discovered in the wreckage, people were living here as far back as 500 BC. However, the city likely flourished around 300 BC and was then abandoned around the same time as the Roman conquest of the area. Nobody knows what happened here at a particularly violent and chaotic time in Greek history. Number 5. The Mystery Spot the Mystery Spot is a strange tourist attraction in Santa Cruz, California. Tourists from all over the world venture to this very spot to witness with their own eyes the mysterious defiance of gravity that takes place here. And it all goes back to 1939 with a guy named George Prather. George was walking past the area one day when he noticed that there was something quite wrong with the hill. When he put something down, gravity forced it up the hill instead of pushing it down. He also noticed it was more difficult walking down the hill than it was going up, and he felt a sense of displacement and vertigo from whatever was going on. Water would move uphill instead of downhill, and he could stand at seemingly obscene angles without falling flat on his face. So George built himself a wood cabin and began inviting people to see the mysterious gravity-defying hill. And it's still there today. Although to be fair, the gravity hill isn't really a supernatural place where water runs uphill and everything is backward. Instead, it's an optical illusion created by the weird tilt of the land. It makes the road appear like it's going uphill when in fact it's physically going downhill. It's just a trick of the eyes, but one that continues to capture Activate people even if they do know the science behind it. Number 4. Iwakuni and the White Snake The Iwakuni Shirohebi Shrine in Japan is dedicated to the sacred white snakes of Iwakuni. These mysterious serpents have been revered since the history records began, with people in ancient Japan believing the snakes to be messengers bringing good fortune. In some regions, the snakes are even considered to be the personifications of water deities. But here's the crazy part about Iwakuni. In most cultures, a pure white animal with albinism is an extraordinarily rare occurrence, which is why they are considered sacred. It is extremely rare to come across an albino snake in the wild, and this practically makes them unicorns. Yet in the southern city of Iwakuni at the tip of Honshu Island, they are everywhere. 
Albino Japanese rat snakes have been a staple here since the 18th century. By 1925, there were so many albino snakes that people were tripping over them in the streets. They were originally bred to get rid of rats, but then the population just kind of spiraled out of control. After a few decades, the snakes did such a good job of controlling the rats that their numbers started to dip. As of 2005, only a total of 953 albino snakes were recorded here. Nonetheless, they are still sacred animals. And on the shrine grounds, there can be found about 400 of these pearl white serpents. Number 3. Allen Hills Allen Hills is a frigid desert wasteland in Antarctica, located in Victoria Land to the east. And it was here on December 27, 1984, that a meteorite was discovered. It was a huge chunk of space debris sitting in the ice field of Allen Hills and it just may have contained alien life. It's an extremely touchy subject, and one with a lot of controversy. The area of Allen Hills, famous for its blue ice fields and spectacularly extreme environment, is rich in meteorites. And while plenty of space rocks have been discovered here, this particular meteorite was special. Scientists named the rock ALH84001, and they took it back to their lab and did a chemical analysis on it. They then claimed that the rock had come from Mars. It was a chunk of the red planet found in Antarctica. But the big news came years later in 1995, when two NASA scientists, David McKay and Everett Gibson, scanned the meteorite using an electron microscope. They found what they believed at the time to be fossilized microorganisms. In other words, microfossils of teeny tiny life forms that had lived on Mars. This would be the first confirmed proof of extraterrestrial life to ever be discovered. It was such a big deal in the 1990s that President Bill Clinton even went on TV to make a statement about it. However, research is still ongoing, and the scientific community never accepted the claim. They said it was contaminated by terrestrial material, though many say it's all just a cover-up. Number 2. Haunted Kentucky The old Capitol building in Frankfort, Kentucky is one of the most haunted and mysterious places in America. The building itself served as the Capitol building of Kentucky from between 1830 to 1910, during one of the most turbulent times in Southern history. During the Civil War, the structure was taken over by Confederate forces and used as a barracks, and many of the men died at the Battle of Perryville, one of the bloodiest battles to ever be fought on U.S. soil. Throughout all its history, the old Capitol building has seen death and bloodshed by the gallons. Governor William Goebel was assassinated in front of the landmark in 1900. Some visitors say they can hear gunshots ringing out in the distance, even though nobody else heard a thing. There's even an old mahogany chest that's still in the building said to be cursed, responsible for 18 untimely deaths. The chest was allegedly built by a slave, then cursed by his family so that anyone who put clothing in one of the drawers would die. There are plenty of other strange and mysterious occurrences here. According to Greg Hardison with the Kentucky Historical Society, he himself has heard voices while walking alone through the building. And although he hasn't physically seen any ghosts, these voices are a fairly frequent occurrence. When there is absolutely nobody else inside this ancient building except for him, he can and hear the whispers of tortured souls. Number 1. Cheraman Juma Masjid Cheraman Juma Masjid is the first mosque that was ever built in India, located in Kerala. It's been a place of worship for thousands of years. Built during the alleged lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, it was constructed in the year 629 AD. One of the very first Islamic influencers to reach India, Malik bin Nidar, was the one behind the construction of the mosque. He managed to convince King Cheraman Paramal to let him set up his Islamic house of worship, and the king was so moved that he allegedly gave up his throne to make a pilgrimage to Mecca. While the history behind the mosque is quite unique, it has one extremely mysterious characteristic. Its main attraction these days is an ancient oil lamp stashed inside the building. This lamp has supposedly been burning continuously since the day the mosque opened its doors. That would mean the single lamp has been lit without fail for roughly 1,400 years. If true, that would make it one of the longest burning flames in human history. The only issue is that it's impossible to say for sure whether the flame has really been lit that long or not, as it's not hard to imagine that at some point somebody accidentally put it out and quickly relit it and never told anyone. 
Thanks for watching! Which of these strange and mysterious places did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe! See you soon! Bye!